as shown in the title, I'm going to present a specific case for modularization of deep networks uh, that allows cross-modality reuse. Um, I joined the lab quite for quite a while already, but uh, I officially became a PhD candidate since last April. Um, and since then, I have a uh, few publications, and today I'm going to focus on a publication in the last VVM. But at the end of the story, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, interpretable network. So um, I have been working with the FrangiNet for a while. For those who are not familiar with my work, so FrangiNet is basically a neural network counterpart of the Frangi Vasanus filter. In the FrangiNet, we have uh, the Frangi filter step-by-step uh, step translated into a neural network language like convolutional layers and max pooling and mathematical operation layers. Uh, why do we want to do this? It's because uh, by translating it into a neural network without training, it's already performing as the classical methods already. And with fine tuning, the network is basically um, guaranteed to have a better performance. But the problem of such a uh, method is that it does not guarantee state-of-the-art performance, as from my experience, like the FrangiNet does not reach the performance of the unit on retina vessel segmentation task. So what we did in the next step is that we want to build an interpretable network pipeline. And this is my work in Las Mikai, basically. And what, what we have here is a pre-processing uh, network. So in this case, it's a UNet, or we could also use a guided filter layer. We um, add a regularizer to the UNet to guarantee that the output from the pre-processing step resembles the input of the pre-processing step. Then the output of the uh, UNet pre-processing pre UNet is fed into the FrangiNet for vessel segmentation. With such a network pipeline, what we have is an interpretable network. Um, also, the performance is boosted. It basically reaches the state of the art. So um, we're happy about this. But um, so as shown in the title, um, today we want to focus on the modularization of networks. So, and we're going to focus on the unit preprocessing module. Um, we have a look at the uh, um, preprocessing uh, pre unit um, results from Fundus images. On the, uh, so here we, ha we have the original image, and without a regularizer we get something like, um, um, basically it's a vessel segmentation already without the background uh, inhomogeneous illumination here. Uh, but if we add a regularizer, like um, L L2 regularizer, to the end of the, to both ends of the unit, what we have is a, a picture that resembles the original image. But we have the low frequency information, and what we have is also a very smooth background, and the edge is preserved. It seems that the unit is trained to be a edge-preserving, denoising filter. We're happy with this. The uh, next question is, is this kind of preprocessing module transferable? Um, we tried to apply the UNet without further fine tuning directly on another database. So basically on another, uh, on another data modality. We tried on OCTA data. And surprisingly, the results is very satisfactory. Um, so we have the original image here. You can see it's very noisy and uh, the vessel seems to be connected, but it's not very connected. And with we feed this image, like we need to do some um, data arrangement so that, you know, we need black ridges instead of white ridges, and we need to shift the data range a little bit, but everything is linear. Then we f feed it into the un preprocessing unit. We get something like this. And so I think it's pretty clear visually that we have a smoother background and very uh, neat vessels here from the preprocessed image. And if you blend these two, you get something like this, which is more realistic again. But um, you can see the ridges are very nice and the background is very smooth. Um, the next question is, how good is the preprocessing procedure? We don't want the preprocessing unit to imagine, to imagine too much. 
So in the last BVM paper, we did a user study. We invited five OCTA experts and asked them to uh, grade the pre-processed image, the raw input, and the blend image with respect to image quality, like in noise level, and also the vessel connectivity, and uh, also the diagnostic quality. Uh, we asked them to grade them from one to five. One is very good, five is very bad. And basically, uh, from the summarized user study, we can see that uh, people basically agree that we are getting better image qualities after the uh, segment, uh, after the pre-processing pre unit. But of course, we want to evaluate our pre-processing methods more quantitatively. We want to have numbers to say how good it is. Uh, for this Mikhail, we got some um, new data from Lennart. So this is uh, OCT, OCTA data. Um, so, so the number represents how many image OCTA images are averaged. And so here this is basically one image, and this is averaged by five, by ten, and by thirty. And the thirty one is um, used as the ground truth. Uh, so, yes, it's basically used as, as the ground truth. And we can see that comparing to the training fundus image, these two different modalities, they, they have similarities, of course. They are both vascular structures, but it's still pretty different. The diameter of the vessels are different, and the density of the vessels are different, and, and of course, the data distribution is also different. But from a uh, direct visual in, in inspection, after pre-processing, we can see that uh, um, yes, the unit is in, in the preprocessing unit is indeed doing a very good smoothing in the background, and um, w um, and uh, and it preserves the edges across uh, one image to five image, ten image, and ten, uh, thirty images. We also want to evaluate uh, how many vessels are imagined. So what we did is we manually annotated one uh, the ground truth. And uh, we apply the Frenchy filter to segment the uh, to to see the vessel response given these pre-processed images. And here on the right side, on the left side, you can see uh, red represents the ground truth. Uh, green is the vessel response, and the yellow is the overlap between these two. Uh, so basically, with ten images integrated together, we can have a pretty nice vessel segmentation already. We also did uh, some quantitative evaluation and compared it ag across various methods. So here is the unit preprocessing plus Frenchy filter. Uh, we can see basically it re reaches the highest ROC score, uh, however many um, images are integrated except for the first one. And here DFF means directly apply Frenchy filter. And this one is unit uh, plus Frenchy net. And this is unit directly transferred from fundus segmentation to, ret to, to OCTA segmentation. This is unit preprocessing plus unit segmentation. And across all these methods, we can see that um, first apply unit, then apply Frenchy filter. Um, gives the best uh, segmentation results. It basically also in indicates that we are not really um, imagining too much. And uh, so that's for the work up to now. And next steps, uh, maybe we want to lift the dimension up to 2.5D or 3D. And also what we have as an evaluation now is basically pixel-wise um, eva a segmentation evaluation. Maybe we want to also do some graph-based evaluation. That's all. Thank you.